Tuberculosis is an infectious disease that usually affects the lungs. This is known as pulmonary tuberculosis. At the Global TB Report 2015, global incidence of TB marked 96 million with an incidence of 176 per lakh population per year and a mortality of 21 per lakh population per year. In India, the incidence was 167 per lakh population per year and a mortality of 17 per lakh population per year. In India, more than 6,000 people develop TB disease and more than 600 people die of TB every day. India has the highest burden of both TB and MDR-TB and second highest of HIV-associated TB based on established report in Global TB Report 2015. India bears second highest number of established HIV-associated TB in the world. Besides this burden, TB also causes enormous socio-economic burden to India. It affects people primarily in their most productive years of life. It kills more women in the productive age group than all causes of maternal mortality combined. TB is transmitted mainly by droplet infection and droplet nuclei generated by the sputum positive patients. Coughing generates the largest number of droplets of all sizes. The symptoms of TB include chronic cough for more than two weeks, blood containing sputum, fever, night sweats, and weight loss. The most important risk factor for TB globally is HIV. 13% of all people with TB are affected by the virus. Weakened immune system poses the threat of developing TB disease. TB is also linked to overcrowding and malnutrition, making it one of the principal diseases of poverty. Under RNTCP, the acceptable methods for microbiological diagnosis of TB are sputum spear microscopy, sputum culture in media like LG media, and rapid molecular testing that includes CBNAT, RIF testing, and line probe assay. Sputum spear microscopy is the most common method for microbiological diagnosis. Medical officers of healthcare facilities, government and non-government, should identify all presumptive TB patients attending health facilities and refer them for examination. Patients are given specimen containers with instructions to provide quality specimen which are then subjected for microscopy examination. Two samples are collected within a day or two consecutive days. One sample is collected on the spot under supervision and the other is collected early in the morning. When diagnosed with TB, all patients before initiating treatment are counseled thoroughly. Close family members are also involved during the process. The patients are then put on short course chemotherapy provided to them for free. During intensing phase of chemotherapy, all drugs are administered under direct supervision called directly observed treatment short course. Dots is given by peripheral health staff or through voluntary workers. Several new initiatives have been launched by the government for notification and the treatment of TB. One such note initiative is the case-based, web-based application NixJ to keep track of TB patients across the country. NixJ has been implemented at the national, state, district 
and TB unit levels. Another low-cost approach for monitoring and improving TB medication adherence is 99 Docs. In this, the blister pad is wrapped in custom envelope, which includes hidden phone numbers that are visible only when doses are dispensed. The patient makes a free call to the hidden phone number, yielding high confidence that the dose was in hand and has been taken. Fixed dose regimen has been introduced in which the pills per day are given based on the weight bands of the patients. It is now mandatory for all healthcare providers to notify every tuberculosis case to local healthcare authorities every month in a given format. Yes, TB is a deadly disease and a giant one at that. But if we all work together, we can, we must, and we will defeat TB and give our future generations a TB-free world. Harega TB, Jitega India.